Um, I mean, you know, first of all, they're one of the better teams in the league. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of been a consistent theme with us all season where we haven't been able to put together a full 48 minutes. You know, we were really good there um, in stretches. And then fourth quarter got a little bit, uh, got away from us a little bit. Uh, I think we ended up giving 35 points um, to them. And, uh, you know, that's where you got to buckle down, get the defensive stops when you need to. Um, you know, but a lot of it is a credit to them, just, you know, guys making plays down the stretch. Um, and, uh, you know, we had some, some good opportunities there at the end, but you don't really want to put yourself in that position. You know, we had a lead for majority of the game, and, uh, you know, you got you to gotta keep, keep people there when you can, and uh, especially against quality teams like the Jazz. You can't let it give them life, and especially at home where they can get momentum, shift the energy. This isn't to entertain moral victory, but given the performance against Phoenix, did it feel like, especially after yesterday's practice, a step in the right direction in terms of how you guys should compete? Yeah, definitely. I think just the, you hit the nail on the head. The compete level was just a lot higher um, against Phoenix. You know, that was, you know, very uncharacteristic of us. Not what we want Brooklyn Nets basketball to be about. Um, and, you know, tonight I think we did a much better job just coming in, um, having effort from the get-go. You know, there's a couple of mental miscues here and there, but that happens over the course of the game. But the effort, the compete level was there all night. Garrett filled in for Karras. Just what kind of look does he bring to the starting lineup with him instead? Um, you know, Garrett is one of the better defenders in this league. Um, he's excellent, just solid on both ends. He's going to knock down shots for you, play the right way. Um, and, you know, that's the, that's the great thing about having depth, having quality players throughout this lineup where, you know, it's sort of a next man um, up mentality when people do go down. Your defense was a lot better than it was two days ago. And understanding that Utah is really good at home, but, I mean, when you consider that they were playing on less than 24 hours I mean they were yeah. on the short back to back how vexing I guess is that to have them make as many plays as they did down the stretch yeah that's good stuff because you you know you hope to kind of wear on them you know they're coming off the back to back but um yeah we just uh didn't do a good enough job I think keeping that energy level throughout the course of the game you know it was there and it was there for a majority of it but there was like an eight nine minute stretch there in the fourth quarter where it really shifted in their favor but again credit to them especially come off a of back-to-back to back to play at that level that high of a level and finish the game like they did Kenny said you guys had two bad stretches in the second half beginning of the third and fourth quarters what, what do you think went wrong that it kind of let them get back in it like that um I think you know to be honest a lot of it was a uh, sort of a direct result of their defense you know they they forced us into some tough shots um and they were able to get out um, and transition, push the pace. Um, you know, it was kind of disrupt our, our rhythm a little bit. But, you know, anytime that you can get good defensive stops, quality defensive stops is going to a lot of times lead to easy offensive baskets.